Hi guys, it is April from Getting Her Go With It. Today I am going to chat with you about all of the books that I would like to read this June. So let's get into it. I cannot believe that June is very nearly upon us. Like, since April, it feels like just life is just flying by. Just flying by, it's insane. But I've got six books that I want to share with you here. These are the books I am hoping, fingers crossed, I will be able to read um, this June soon. First up will be no surprise to many of you um, because I'm doing a read-along for The Handmaid's Tale this June. We're going to be using hashtag Handmaid's Tale 2019 over on Instagram where I'm gonna post over there. I'm hoping everyone will post their reading while they go through the book. So using that hashtag over there. And then over here on YouTube, I was thinking of, well, I'm still gonna use the same hashtag, but I'm also um, thinking of vlogging my way through it. I'm, I'm thinking of doing like several vlogs as I go. Um, just kind of talking about my thoughts as we go through, I just think this is a really important book to be reading right now. Um, that video that I made, I will link it below, uh, was a, a tough one to make and it was a tough one to post. And, um, you know, I got some wonderful feedback and some uh, really hard feedback too, um, but everyone is entitled to their own opinions. Um, I am really excited to read this. I need it. I genuinely do. So I'm so excited. I hope you join. Um, that'll be started in June. I think the third season of The Handmaid's Tale is coming out in June as well. At least in Canada it is. So that's another reason to get excited. And then I don't know if you saw my video where I go back a year and look at all of the books that I've bought in in a given month last year so I went back for, to June 2018 looked at all of the books that I bought and I chose to read um, Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rhys. I am really looking forward to this. This is a kind of Jane Eyre retelling. It's a prequel um, and it follows Antoinette Cosway. She is a very critical character in Jane Eyre. I don't want to give anything away but she she made her presence known. Let me just say that. Um, and I've never read this. It's tiny, teeny tiny. Like 140 pages tiny. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Also, Lauren from Lauren and the Books is doing a June Air, like the whole month of June. She's going to be reading Jane Eyre, either the book itself or retellings. And I think she's planning on reading this as well. So I it just worked out well. I will be kind of joining her month-long June air as well, so that's really good. I am also hoping to read Crib Sheet by Emily Oster. Emily Oster is an economist and she looks at the statistics that come out and the studies that come out surrounding parenting in this book, like early parenting. I think this is for birth to preschool, which is perfect for me because I'm about to become a mama of a little baby. So this will help. I am hoping. I am really, really excited. I really enjoyed her, her one on pregnancy called Expecting Better. I read that when I was not pregnant, like many years ago. I think when um, my sister was pregnant with one of her babes, I can't remember. Um, but I, I've been rereading that. And now I really want to dive into this one. So I'm going to read that this June. We start all of our prenatal classes this June. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm like, okay, I got to get into this. Um, and then, okay, I've got several scary-ish books that I would like to get to as well. The first is The Invited by Jennifer McMahon. And this is a haunted house story but it's a haunted house story from a very interesting kind of perspective. It's about a couple who move to the countryside and they decide to build a home. And the, the woman in the couple, her name is Helen, she gets really interested, 
in the historical part of this land and this little area. There's this local legend about Hattie Breckenridge who had lived there and died there about a century ago. And she finds things that Hattie had in her home. And so when they build their house, they introduce some of those things and they create a haunted house. Like, do you need to even know anymore? I am, uh, of course, I'm gonna read this. It just sounds so good. So yeah, I'm hoping to read this as well. And then because I'm getting all of my pregnancy homework kind of going at this point, as we inch ever closer to the due date, this is one of the projects I was hoping to undertake, is to read the secrets she keeps. And this is about two pregnant women, and I think one of them gets quite obsessed with the other. And I, I just love a stalker story. And I'm really looking forward to reading this. Also, I think he's written quite a few books. So um, if I like this, I mean, this could be a whole new thing. I could have a whole new list of books that I should read by the same author. So I'm really going to try and prioritize this. And then a book that I didn't finish in May, actually barely started in May, is Growing Things by Paul Tremblay. I'm enjoying it. I've only read one of the short stories and I enjoyed it, but I got kind of obsessed with Lock Every Door. I picked them up both pretty much at the same time and Lock Every Door kind of whisked me away, but I love Paul Tremblay. You guys know, you guys know my obsession. So I won't go into it here because I could go on and on. Um, but yeah, Growing Things. And those are all of the books that I'm really hoping to read this June. Let me know in the comments below what you are excited to read. Are you going to be joining me for The Handmaid's Tale uh, read along? I would love for you to join and I will talk with you guys soon. Okay, bye.